Hello, cookbook friends, and welcome to the Cookbook Divas podcast. I'm your host, Katie, and today on this mini-sode, we're going to talk about cake cookbooks. June, as some of you might know, was traditionally the most popular month for weddings, so I figured I should probably cover some cake-oriented cookbooks that have come out during 2021 that might help you during the summer for all of the weddings that, or even gatherings that are probably going to start happening. I know for me, I've had a lot of weddings that I've been invited to because they had to postpone it because of COVID. And I know a lot of people are trying to go cheaper. So they're trying to make their wedding cakes or trying to do their decorations. And then they have their weddings in their backyards and it's smaller gatherings. And I think that's really fun and really cute. And having this cook, these cookbooks on hand are definitely going to help. Plus, they're great for all year around. It's not just for June or just for weddings. So these are just mostly cake-oriented cookbooks. To start, I wanted to talk about American Cake, From Colonial Gingerbread to Classic Lair, the stories and recipes behind more than 125 of our best-loved cakes by Anne Byrne. It comes out June 15th. 2021. It looks really fun. This is a really cool cookbook, especially if you are really into American history and baking simultaneously. So I'm going to peek through the table of contents. We've covered this before on our cookbook roundup, but I wanted to go into this with a little more detail. So in the table of contents, we start chronologically. So the first chapter is an introduction or the history of cake in America, which is really fascinating because obviously our ancestors took all of the things they knew from Europe and came here and started baking with whatever we have here, or growing food, etc. So the next chapter goes from baking cakes in early America, so 1650 through 1799, The next chapter goes through 1800 to 1869, so new cakes and new directions. Then as we approach the late 1800s, we learn about a new scientific approach, including baking powder and Fanny Farmer. Like I said, they're in a chronological order. They go down all the way to present times. And then the very last chapter, it talks about frostings and icings, which have definitely evolved over time. Some of the recipes that I have not heard before are a Mary Lincoln's white almond cake. I've heard of an almond cake, but I've never heard of Mary Lincoln's white almond cake. There's also a recipe that's called a shoe fly pie. All of these look really great. And then you've got the history here. It's all explained. And then different sides you can create. It has like little notes in this book for how to make make it with or without raisins or other ingredients, or you can use these ingredients instead of this. So it's a historical and baking-friendly book. So if you want to check that out, it's called American Cake, From Colonial Gingerbread to Classic Lair, the stories and recipes behind more than 125 of our best-loved cakes. Next, we have Bake from Scratch, Volume 5, Artisan Recipes for the Home Baker, It came out March 23rd, 2021. This is a whole collection of recipes from the magazine called Bake from Scratch. There are 650 dessert recipes. So this is more than just cake. I know for my wedding, I had macarons and I had cake. I had cupcakes. And I know not everybody wants to do cake, but there are a lot, a lot, a lot of cake recipes in here. But we have pies, there's donuts, there's cookies. I even see some really unique cream puffs. There's rolls. There's a lot of interesting things you could do and great ideas you can come up with if you want to try to do something or mix it up for your wedding. Or if you want to stick with more traditional recipes, there's plenty of cake recipes and it's all divided into certain kinds of desserts or for cakes, different kinds of cakes. So we have cakes for a chapter and that includes layered cakes, bunt and tube cakes, and then one layer cakes. They talk about bread in here, so you can use this cookbook all year round. It'd be super awesome during the holidays, which are quickly approaching. I had no idea. It's already June. Then we have pastries. We have pies and tarts. 
separate chapters, cookies and bars, and then miscellaneous desserts. They have a lot of beautiful photos in here that showcase each recipe. There are some things in here I've never really seen before. Like there's this, uh, it looks like a banana pie or a tart. It uses almost the a whole slice of banana and it's beautifully decorated. It's fun. I've always thought of banana cream pie with just the custard. We have beautiful pictures of tarts and scones and all kinds of cool stuff in here. It's an all around great cookbook to just have with you, but for a wedding, Especially if you have somebody that wants multiple kinds of desserts, but you don't want to pull out multiple cookbooks, this is a great book to have. So that's Bake from Scratch, Volume 5. Next up is Zoe Bakes Cakes, Everything You Need to Know to Make Your Favorite Layers, Bunts, Loaves, and More, a Baking Book. This also came out in March of 2021. It's by Zoe Francois. It is a very cool book. One thing that I thoroughly enjoy about this cookbook is that before you begin the recipes, we have the common things, we have the ingredients, equipment, that kind of thing. But then she also has Cake Academy. She writes down exactly the ingredients. So for instance, dairy. In her dairy section for Cake Academy, She talks about the different kinds of dairy you would use in your bakes and how each thing affects all the other ingredients. I really enjoy this because it makes you an all-around better baker. So you can kind of wing it eventually, or if you need to make small adjustments for a dessert, if it just doesn't feel right to you, then you'll kind of know exactly what you will need if you need more fat, dairy, egg, fruit, lots of cool stuff in the get-go. Throughout this cookbook, there are photos that demonstrate the techniques required for specific bakes or how to do certain techniques of folding, creating a meringue, creating a good batter. She does a great job illustrating that in a written way and also a illustrative way. Some of the recipe examples in here, and I really like these photos of the cakes. We have a beautiful plum cake. We also have a turtle cake, which sounds super delightful. And it, it's very easy all around. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. She kind of gives you a foundation before you approach the recipe so that you just have to put it together. It's really interesting how she's broken down this cookbook Rather than picking through it, you I think you have to actually read through front to back because she gives you all the techniques and skills you need before you start approaching the recipe. So it's really great for beginners. So you get to learn with this book. That is Zoe Bakes Cakes, Everything You Need to Know to Make Your Favorite Layers, Bunts, Loaves, and More, a Baking Book by Zoe Francois. Next, we have How to Cook That Crazy Sweet Creations. This comes out June 15, 2021. This is by Anne Reardon. And this is definitely something, even if you're not baking for a wedding, if you love cake and you love baking sweets, this is something that should definitely be on your shelf. It is like the number one bestseller on Amazon for desserts. I can see why, because these Recipes are so elaborate, so elegant, but they're incredibly approachable. And the cool thing is about this is that in for each recipe, she's linked her, her YouTube tutorial video if it's applicable to so that you can actually cook with her. I think that's super useful. So she has a YouTube channel called How to Cook That and she breaks down a You know, she bakes all of these things, but she breaks down certain myths. She's just really awesome to watch. She's just really fun. And she also has a blog. So if you want to look at some more pictures and stuff, you should look up howtocookthat.com and you will see Anne Reardon's bakes. They're stunning and just really fun. She has a lot of like traditional things with a twist. So the one that always pops out to me is a cherry red velvet cupcake recipe and I I never thought about putting cherries in there, but it really sounds super good. She has these cupcakes called Heart Inside Cupcakes, and you actually see a little heart when you bite into the cupcake, which is really cute for weddings or Valentine's Day. 
This would be a really cool cookbook to have all year round. There's all kinds of things you can find in here. Plus, she's broken a lot of things down with illustrations and photos and written it out. So she tells you what kind of fat you'd want for certain bakes or sugar or egg variations, water, milk, just all of that. And you get to learn so much. So if you're looking at your bake, I know I've screwed up a couple bakes before, as we we all have, and you look at it and you just can visually see there's something wrong with it. You can actually go into her cookbook, kind of see if the photo matches your bake, and you can identify, oh, I guess I might have put too much sugar in here because my bake looks identical to the bake that says too much sugar. It's a fun cookbook. It's great. I highly recommend this one. It's How to Cook That, Crazy Sweet Creations by Anne Reardon. Next is Frosted. Take your baked goods to the next level with decadent buttercreams, meringues, ganaches, and more. It comes out June 8th, 2021. It's by Bernice Baran, and she's the owner of the Baran Bakery, and she's been, she's giving us her bakery secrets, essentially. I like this one because it kind of focuses more on the frosting rather than the cake. There are a lot of recipes in here that are cake and not frosting, but, you know, it, it's just a different kind of cookbook that's not focused on just cake. Some of us love frosting more than the actual cake, so she's she's done a breakdown of frosting on in her first chapter, so Frosting 101, which includes things like, I didn't know there was American meringue buttercream versus Italian meringue buttercream, and then Swiss meringue buttercream. And then we have, like, Diplomat Cream, Bavarian Cream. There's so many different frostings that I've never even heard of. So I like that she's done that. She includes other sweets in here. So it's not just cakes, but cakes are pretty big in this particular book. The first chapter is Luscious Layers. Next is Sweet Sheets. Then we have Cutie Cupcakes. And then we have Better Than Classic Cookies. Brownies, Bars, and Everything in Between. And then we have dessert for breakfast. And then finally, we have tasty tarts. And it's kind of open to your interpretation as far as frosting goes. She has suggestions, but most of all, it's like 60 60 recipes that are all frosted. But now you get to learn how to frost them and how to actually, you can flavor your frosting however you'd like in according to whatever dessert you want. So really the possibilities are endless with the co- this cookbook. Plus the photos are very elegant. It's all crisp and very clean. Just every recipe is a little different. And I think it's very approachable for the most part. Yeah, so that is Frosted. Take your baked goods to the next level with decadent buttercreams, meringues, ganaches, and more by Bernice Bernan. Next up, we have Peggy Portion, A Year in Cake, Seasonal Recipes and Dreamy Style Secrets from the Prettiest Bakery in the World. This comes out June 8th by Peggy Portion, obviously. If you are, if you actually are doing a wedding and you are looking for elegance and a wow factor, this cookbook needs to be on your shelf immediately because it is one of the most beautiful cookbooks I have actually seen. It's, I mean, it is, there's a lot of pink in here and that's fine, but it is quite beautiful. And it's not just cakes. There are cookie, there are cupcake recipes. I think there might be a tart recipe, but don't quote me on that. It's all divided up into season and holidays are a big indicator in this cookbook. So we start it, we start out for Valentine's Day and then we move into spring and Easter, sweet summer, autumn and Halloween, winter and Christmas, the basics. And then she goes in and talks about decorations, equipment, etc. Even though they look incredibly complicated. So the first recipe I'm always drawn to is floral hoop cookies. They just look amazing, just super pretty. But the recipe themselves for the shortbread are, it's it's quite easy. It's honey, lemon, and lavender shortbread. So it's very elegant, very in, trendy right now. But the decoration for the most part are beautiful edible petals and flowers, which these would make a really beautiful, fun dessert for a wedding. 
There's also an example of a berries and elder fluor cake, which looks bright, fantastic, great for spring, especially now for June or even summertime. This would be a fun one to have. There's also this really awesome spiced pumpkin cupcake that has adorable little mushrooms on top. So if you have like a really cute forest woodland wedding, this would be a really adorable cupcake dessert option to have. Overall, these would be great to have in your arsenal for cookbooks. And if you don't know who Peggy Portion is, she's, she's a very familiar, very popular baker. She's cooked for Gwyneth Paltrow and Kate Moss. She's done Stella McCartney's wedding and she's baked for Madonna. She, yeah, she's, and she's featured in the Condé Nast Brides and Weddings all the time because her bakes are so elegant. So if you want a beautiful dessert for a wedding, if you're doing that, or if you know somebody that is, this is the book to definitely get. So that is Peggy Portion, A Year in Cake, Seasonal Recipes and Dreamy Style Secrets from the Prettiest Bakery in the World by Peggy Portion. Next, we have Dana Bakery, 100 Decadent Recipes for Unique Desserts comes out July 6th, so it's past June, but that's okay. It's by Dana Pollock. Dana's Bakery was one of the first online bakeries. Now she's giving us an actual book to cook from, so a lot of the things that we've seen over the years, we're now able to cook ourselves. So an example of that is cereal bowl cookies, red velvet donuts, tiramisu whoopie pies, cookie dough macarons. So again, like if you're baking for somebody who's kind of quirky and super fun, this is a really fun baking book. If you just love baking and you want to just have a lot of fun with it, she's the one that created uh, Mookie's, so a macaron inside of a baked cookie. I want to have and I need to try to make a way to make this gluten-free. So this is a really awesome and incredible cookbook. It is bright. There's lots of rainbows. It's just super fun. It kind of brings the child out in you, I would say. Like, I love seeing this stuff. It makes me so happy to see, like, little adorable animal cookies and just these really fun things you can cook by yourself. Rainbow, black and white cookies. These are just cool. It's just really awesome. And Pride for this month this is perfect. Like, this is such an awesome cookbook for so many reasons, and I definitely think this needs to be on everybody's list because it's just so, so cool. Also, there is a photo for every single recipe in this cookbook, which is something that, of course, as you know, Carrie and I love photos in all of our cookbooks. There are 99 incredible desserts, and then there's the Mookie, so there's 100 recipes in total. Definitely check this out cookbook out. It is Dana's Bakery, 100 Decadent Recipes for Unique Desserts by Dana Pollock. Last, we have Bake It Vegan, Simple Delicious Plant-Based Cakes, Cookies, Brownies, Chocolates, and More. It came out June 1st, 2021. It's by Maha Brekalo. I know that if you have any sort of dietary restriction, and especially for weddings, It is more expensive and a bigger pain to find an amazing cake for yourself. And this is actually partly why I wanted to make my own dessert because it was almost doubly expensive to find a gluten-free cake. And I know that this is probably the same for vegan desserts as well. Being able to do this yourself or having somebody do it for you as a gift, I think this would be amazing. Plus, you can actually... Hopefully eat something that you enjoy that isn't so expensive. It's not an arm and a leg to enjoy, you know, a vanilla vegan cake. Or for us, it was, you know, a gluten-free chocolate cake. It just is too much. So I love this idea of being able to bake something vegan, having it for a wedding. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a cake, but there are quite a few cake recipes in here. In fact, the cover of this cookbook is absolutely stunning. It is this beautiful purple cake. It looks like it's blueberry and it's just, it's, it's gorgeous. So some of the recipes you'll find in here are decadent cakes. You can do cookies, 
a whole chocolate section. We have fruity galettes and crumbles, breakfast bakes and bite-sized treats. We also have super indulgent no-bake and raw treats. And I really appreciate this in addition to it being vegan. We have nut-free recipes in here and it's all indicated in the cookbook. We also have gluten-free recipes in the cookbook. So for those who really want to accommodate for everybody and want to create a really stellar dessert and not leave people out, because I know there's some people like that. I know it's your wedding and all and you don't need to please everybody, but you know it's nice when everybody's enjoying themselves and it's a delicious dessert and nobody knows that it doesn't have dairy or any gluten in it. That's pretty amazing. That would just be a huge wow factor. So all of those are indicated in this cookbook. We have classics like the chocolate cake. We have raspberry white chocolate coffee cake, which sounds amazing. Raspberry cake, cherry sheet coffee cake. There's a lot of unique cakes in here that are really cool. Plus, if you don't want just cake, you can go look for other dessert options in here. Like galettes, you can do a delicious plum crumble or an apple almond galette. There's also cookies you could do. There's a lot of amazing options for you. So that is Bake It Vegan, Simple Delicious Plant-Based Cakes, Cookies, Brownies, Chocolates, and more. Comes out June 1st. And that finishes our list of newer cake cookbooks in this mini-sode. For more cookbook content, make sure to subscribe and listen every Tuesday and Friday for our mini-sodes. And on Fridays, we do a full cookbook rundown. We also have Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, and that's where Carrie does a super awesome job doing all the cookbook look-throughs. We have an Instagram. You'll see a lot of reels, pictures, and more. And our website at Cookbook Divas for some blog information. We do tend to miss some cookbooks because they they just come out super duper fast, and we just miss really awesome cookbooks sometimes on this podcast. So check out our blog. And thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next time.